So I want to get started with Quick, which is a new JavaScript framework for developing front ends. And it's new, so that means ChatGPT probably doesn't know about it because, well, it has a cutoff date of 2021, I believe, and Quick came out in 2022. So I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm going to select GPT-4 up here, but I'm not going to select browsing or plugins, just the default. And I'm going to ask it, how do I get started with Quick? Aha, uh -huh. this is where the problem is. As of my last update in September 21, Google has not released a product or service called Quick. I don't know why you're assuming it's a Google product. It's from builder.io, not from Google. But anyway, it doesn't know. I'm going to stop this thing right here. It doesn't know what is Quick and it can't give me any instructions on it. So if I start a new chat and I go to GPT-4, there is this browsing beta option. This is brand new. Uh, it's still in beta, so it might have a few quirks. I'm going to select that and now, I'm going to ask it the same exact question. How do I get started with Quick? And this is a beautiful thing. After a few hiccups and a few failed attempts at clicking, it eventually found something on dev.2. Gave me a link to it. Let's let's check it out. Aha, it found this article by Dananjay Kumar saying, getting started with Quick. And this is what it's using as its reference. Now, I could also probably go to the Quick website and provide it a URL to go to to check it out. But I'm going to try this. The article is pretty fresh. You never know. Things change really quickly in Quick land or in just JavaScript framework land in general. First step, it says you must have node version 18 or 16.8 or above. Let's check my node version 18.11. Good to go. To create a new quick project, use this npm create quick at latest. Copy code, paste it, and let's go. All right. Where would you like to create a new project? That's fine with me. Select a template. Fine with the default. Would you like to install NPM dependencies? Yes. Initialize a new repository? Sure. Okay. Looks like it's done. And yeah, there's our little app right there. It does have some extra installation steps or post installation steps and a summary. This is really pretty. Uh, very nice. Nicely implemented CLI, by the way. Good job, quick folks, quick team whoever you are. The next steps are go to the folder, npm start. And then if you want integrations, you can add Netlify, Cloudflare or Tailwind and it makes it easy using the CLI by using npm run quick add. Very cool, good documentation. Now I will compare this to ChatGPT's output in just a second, but let's pop this open in VS Code and have a look at the code. There's package.json, we have some dependencies and dev dependencies, pretty nicely configured project, get you nice and uh, ready for working with it quickly. Here's a source folder. We are using TSX files here. I, I didn't know that. This is my first time with Quick, by the way, so I have no idea what's involved here. But TSX files is something I'm pretty familiar with since I use React and I use it with TypeScript and it looks just like React. <laughs> Very similar to React. I wonder what the difference is. All right, control backtick to open up the terminal and I'm going to say npm start. Whoa, <laughs> it pops right up with the hello world. Nice hello world page, by the way. Wow has a little counter component that actually works, has reactivity built right in there. So this is a nice little demo of how to start working with it right away. Let's see where I can find this counter. It's probably in component. Uh, oh, here it is, counter. Uh, there's a module CSS, and then there is the actual counter component. And it looks like it starts with 70. Let's start with 69 and see how quickly it refreshes. I'm gonna save this. That's pretty fast. <laughs> nice. So hot reload is built in and it's really fast. I love it. I'm pretty impressed with Quick so far. It's got nice documentation. It's got pretty looking CLI, very easy to work with. I have yet to build a full app with it, but I probably will very soon. Let's see what ChatGPT says. So this prompt will provide you specific details, including app directory name, project template, NPM library installation options, and git init options. Yes, that was all the case. After ex successful execution, you should have a new Quick project set up. And yes, I do. Running the app, uh, okay, navigate to the project folder, open up index.tsx file and replace the code with the following. Okay, navigate to the project folder. Well, there is no index.tsx in the project folder. Maybe they mean the source folder? Well, nothing here either. There's root and root has a component in there and this looks like also a component. Okay, so maybe I'll just replace this part. Let's copy that and let's pop this in. Save. Oh, looks like I got some errors. Div can't be rendered because it's not a valid direct child of HTML. Only head and body can be allowed. Wow, what an impressive error message. And look at this. We got colorful outputs of the file. The 
frame, whatever that means, stack trace. Quick, you people are really good. I'm really impressed by this and I'm excited by where this is gonna go. I'm gonna undo that change because apparently we need uh, the head and the body. So I need to be working inside either the router outlet or the service worker register. It's not the service worker register. It's gonna be the router outlet because we're routing through different components. So I'm gonna go to source uh, routes. Aha. There's index right there. Okay, so ChatGPT got that part wrong because it didn't tell me to go into that folder, but that's okay. I'm gonna copy this code and uh, replace the index.tsx file with that code and see what happens. It works. <laughs> all right, I guess this is a little bit easier than looking at all this for a beginner because well, here you have different nested components and you have all this HTML or I should say JSX. And with this, it's just a little div with a little title inside of it. And that's it. And I changed this to Alex. That is insanely fast. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. Next step, now you can run your app. I already did that. Directory-based routing. Quick works on directory-based routing. Okay, so in the routes folder, if you wanna create uh, the product routes or product ID and greed routes, you would create these subfolders for every single route. Hmm, there's a demo route. What if I go to the demo route slash demo? Not found, okay. Oh, flower and to-do list. So I need to go slash demo slash to-do list. Yeah, you have a to-do list demo in here. Why is it not working? I don't no. Huh. Well, that doesn't work. Let's go to flower demo. Okay, generate flowers. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay. And it animates. Holy cow, that is fast. That is beautiful. Okay. Very cool. Now, what if I want to create my own? I'm going to go to routes and I'm going to follow the instructions that ChatGPT gave me. Uh, greet, was it? I'm going to create a greet folder and then an index.tsx file inside of that. And I'm going to paste this code inside of that. And let's just go to slash greet. Greetings, comma, Alex. I'm amazed. Not only does this work so well right out of the box, first of all, I'm amazed by both ChatGPT with browsing and by Quick, but more by Quick because ChatGPT, it's so last month, who cares? Nobody cares anymore, right? It probably just taught me how to use Quick faster than I would have researched the documentation or looked up any articles on it. Step by step, very cool. And I also noticed that I didn't have to do any compilations or rebuilds while working with Quick, even after I added extra files to it. So overall, I'm having a good day today, I'd say. What else does it say here? All right, so it goes into more details. I think I've seen enough. I'm pretty sure that whatever else it has to say is gonna be right. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you want me to check out the plugins section you know there's browsing which is what we just saw and then there's also plugins or build plugins let me know in the comments down below and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up thanks for watching i'll see you again very soon